Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today's video is a continuation from my video that I did a few days ago where I called it Development, How I Cured or Healed My Brain Tumor. So today I want to go into another technique that I use, um, which I could have gone into the other day, but it was getting on with the video. So if you do want to go and watch that one first, I would highly suggest it before you watch today's. Okay, so I'll just pause in case there are people who want to go and watch that other one first. In fact, I'll put the description in the video in the link below so you can watch that one first. Okay, so in this one, I want to talk about today what is my belief in Reiki. Reiki to me is energy work. Okay, we all have it, we can all do it, but some of us just don't have it for some reason. Because it is innate, natural phenomenon that we can actually do ourselves. So let me just go into a little bit of what I believe is Reiki. Reiki is where I create health in my mind and through the energetic connection to others, I can then heal them as well as myself. <clears throat> So when I did my own brain tumor type healing, where I had my hands like this going around me, that way, I'm, I'm, remember if I, I was talking about how I was transferring the energy from one hand to the other, so it's going through my head and creating this really big white bubble of energy, right? So imagine I was doing that to somebody else. Now I want to show you what happens to me when I do this, okay? This is just what happens to me. So I want to show you this because we all do this differently and that's the thing, okay? I want you to look at my right palm, this is my right palm and my left palm, okay? I want you to just watch while I activate my hand. So as I activate my hands, one hand actually does change. I don't know if you're seeing it or not, because this is live on camera, but my left hand, it's now getting quite hot in the middle, and it also does this big indentation. Here it goes. It's got this big indentation in it. Like, I can actually fit something in there. It all, like, falls in. Okay, and now my fingers are getting, my fingers are tingling around the edges and my hand now is getting actually quite hot. So you can see with this hand, it doesn't do it. See how it's still flat? Okay, and look now that I've just stopped it, it's gone back to normal. So they're flat again. Okay, they're flat. But let me just activate it again. There it goes. I can feel it. And if I look off on the peripheral, like I'm looking at the wall over here behind my computer, my hand, I can actually see the white energy in the wrist of it. See, look, look at the hole it gets. It gets this huge hole, okay? This other hand doesn't do it. So this is my energy hand, okay? This is the hand that I call my Captain America, um, sorry, my um, Iron Man, because it gets like this big ball of energy inside it. And when I've got that, I can transfer it into my head like a torch. It's like a torch turns on into my head. Or if I've got a sore knee, I put this over my knee and it goes into my knee. Um, so this is another technique that I use. We've all got to find our own way of doing this. Okay, so let me teach you this one in case this one helps you all out. Okay, so I just clap. Because that actually clears the energy. Clear your hands. What, push your hands together a few times. Now, this is called friction, which creates energy, which is the heat that we feel between our hands, right? This is science, right? Science. So you put your hands out and you feel which one gets the most tingles because that's the one that's mostly energized. My left hand right now, it's going bit bit bit, and this one's not really even tingling at all. So you're doing this so they're both getting the same amount of friction, okay? Which one's tingling the most? It's that one. So this is my energy hand, okay? 
So now I know that this is the one, even though it's my left hand and I do write right-handed, but I am ambidextrous. I do a lot of things with my left hand, okay? But this is my hand that I use for healing. So if I've got a sore elbow, I don't actually put my hand on the elbow. I put my hand here around the elbow and I energize this ball in my like I visualize a white round ball in here, like a bit like, like a softball type thing, right? And then I imagine that energy going into my elbow when it's sore. With my knee, same thing. I don't, or if I've got a sore hand, I don't actually put my hand on it. I put my hand over the other hand, and now the energy from this one it goes into my hand. <laughs> so if you've got a sore wrist okay you put it there okay so it is easy to do this once we believe it okay now the other one that I want to go into today is how do I heal other people I was talking about Bill this guy that was coming here he was in a wheelchair for God's sake when I put him on my um, into my massage on my massage table he's lying down so I sit behind him with him like so I've got his head and that goes down to his feet right I always start with the feet and what I do is I push the energy up through the crown chakra which is near me so I can direct it and send it out into the universe so I always start with the with the because it's actually easier to pull in energy than it is to pull out for me, that's what I do. So that's one thing that you can do by yourself. Practice going in and pulling out. But do not ever become an energy vampire. Don't take energy from other things without their consent. Okay? All right? Now, a good one that you can do, energize your water up. So you say you need water. I love you. 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 I'm putting in all this love. And then you can suck it out. So this is my energy hand, right? So I suck that love out and I push it into me. Feel that love and I push it into me. I take that love that I've just put into all that beautiful water and I put it into myself. Well, the other thing I could do is simply drink it. Okay. Yum. Okay, so now I'm getting all that love within me as well. So, so what I do when I start with the feet and I always start with the toes and I imagine, so I'm just say this is my toes, right? I imagine swirling energy around the toes, like a hula hoop. Imagine a hula hoop, okay, just around the toes. And as I move up the toes towards the ankle, right, I'm pushing or pulling all this energy towards me. So it comes out of my head chakra because it's easier to release it from the head chakra than it is from the feet, right? So that's So it's like a grounding where I drag all the negativity out of a person and I stick it out through the head chakra so as I'm doing this rotation of the white energy what I think is don't ever attach to me bypass me totally because I do not allow give consent or give permission to any other's negative energy to attach to me right so I always do my protection first then as I'm doing this like hula hoop of energy around them I say inside my head, I cast out all the negative energy within this person who has given me consent, because I always get consent. I cast out all this energy from this person who's given me consent to do this. I cast you up through the through the head chakra, and you must now leave into the universe and be reconditioned back into loving good energy. Okay? So not only can we use um, like energy, like just on ourselves, passing it from one to the other, but I actually create like this swirling vortex of energy around like an MRI machine. Okay, it's like an MRI machine. You know, if you've ever had an MRI where you've got this woo, 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 beep, 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 beep noises going off. Oh, yeah, so you can tell I've had a few MRIs, right? Okay, because I showed all those scans the other day. All right, so 
we do it like an MRI around ourselves. It's moving up, and as it's moving up, it's pushing all that negative energy up through our heart, um, heart chakra, through our um, chakras outside of our crown chakra. And as it leaves, I always say, thank you for being here. You are not required anymore. See you later. Neck off and don't come back. Okay? And make it your own little saying. But we're always grateful for even the bad things. We're always grateful. And then you nick it off and you say, thank you for coming, but you're not welcome back. So see you later. So as we do all that work, we must remember. We must remember one big thing I didn't talk about in my last video. We are always 100% full of energy. Now I use the cup analogy. How full is this bottle? You can see water goes to there. So how full is this bottle? This bottle is 100% full. This is water. This is air. So if I want to put more water into here, I've got to release the air first to fill it up with water, right? So if this is all the good energy within me and this is all the stuff that I now want to get off me, that, 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 get off, get off, get off, how do we fill it back up? We've got to fill it back up because or else we've, we've depleted our energy. So after you do all this Reiki or energy work on yourself and, or just a simple aura, the other thing is an aura, let's go there, so here's another technique, aura. So we've all got an energy field around us, we sweep it off and we sweep, we don't touch, we sweep past it and we're sweeping all that negative energy off. You've got no right to stay on me, I don't want energy, negative energy on me. Neck off, get away from my head, get away from the back of my neck, get away from my heart chakra, get out of my legs and my feet and my toes, neck off to where you're from. So now that I've just left all that energy to go off and do its own thing and re regroup and come back as good energy, I've got to now deplete and fill it back up again. So that's where you call out to the gods and the heavens and the angels and the archangels, spirit guides, even your deceased relatives, because they're if, you know, if they've gone home, they're full of love. So you call them all in and you say, thank you so much. I've just depleted all this negative energy from me. Please fill me up with the loving white energies of the universe. I wish to be filled up to the mount, top of my cup. Fill me up now with all the loving, beautiful white energy from the planet. Fill me up into my armpits, my groin area, behind my neck, around and around. Now, why did I just say those three areas? I've said it before in another video I've done. When I used to do first aid training, we used to talk about hyperthermia and hypothermia. Hyperthermia is when we get really hot. Hypothermia is when we get really cold. Okay, both are fatal. Um, can be it causes death. Okay, we either freeze to death or heat up too much and we pass out and die. So, common thing is, where does energy store? Now, remember, I just was talking about friction, which is heat. Okay, so where do we heat up and where do we cool down really fast on our bodies? There's three areas. People usually say hands, feet and head. That's why we wear socks, gloves and hats. Eh, wrong. Really, the three places where we get extremely hot and extremely cold quickly is where we have hair. Let's start with the most embarrassing one first. Eh, eh, down there. You know that nether nether region that we don't ever talk about? Why do we get hair down there? And why do we get hair in the armpits? And if you notice it, it only grows to about this long, right? Whereas, look at this. Ha beep, beep, hair. And this hair only grows to about this long. Because that's all it's needed for. When we get ex extremely cold, this is our warmth, okay? It warms us up. But when we get cold, oh, let's just stay with hot. The other thing is we sweat there. How many times do we hear the word sweaty balls? It's true. Men sweat there extremely crazily because they have to cool down their genitals, okay? So they keep them functional. It's just tr biology 101. Okay, so if you get embarrassed by that, I'll talk about the armpit hair. We sweat in our armpits because that 
wetness, those drops of wetness of water, sweat, it sticks into the hair fibres and it cools us down. Okay, that's why the worst thing we can do when we sweat is put on antiperspirants. Because one that gives us can, can give us cancer. Okay, a lot of, lot of um, information out there now about how squirty things causes cancer, right? Because it blocks the pores so the sweat can't get out and it builds up inside the pores and causes cancerous conditions to occur, okay? The other thing is never put on those sprays just after you've shaved your pits or your other areas, okay? The worst thing is whenever you shave, never put on anything for at least half an hour because what happens is all those pores are open like this and when we put on sprays or roll-ons, those cancerous chemicals go into the pores and there's nowhere for it because they close up, the cancerous chemicals stay inside us and it builds up and makes cancer okay true okay i've i've studied this for over 10 years now okay so where do we get really hot where do we get really cold armpits groin and our neck so what do you think this is for huh this is why we get long hair because it goes around and makes a scarf when we're cold and when it's hot it produces the sweat to gather all the sweat around us and it cools us down okay so this is getting back to today's development because <laughs> i hope you just learned something there about your own health okay because they don't teach us this stuff at school okay but getting back to the spiritual side of this armpits groin and our neck area is where all the negative lower vibrational energies live they love it because it's the warm spot they build up there all that negative energy so when you're doing your sweep remember we're getting back on point now with our sweeping when you want to do your sweeping you're telling it all nick off me you've got no right or permission to stay on me i only allow the good loving white energies of the universe get into your armpits and sweep it all out open your legs up and sweep it all out get your hair out of the way and sweep 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 i don't give you any permission to stay on me nick off you've got no right to be on me i give you no consent to come back you've got to go back out into the universe and recondition yourself into loving white universal love this stuff works okay so today i've just given you a couple more ways of keeping us ourselves healthy okay so if you do want to do some healing on yourself this is work you've got to keep doing it how often do i do my own aura cleanse i do it every single day now i've got a video right down the bottom um i've got to put up a playlist but there is a video that says how to do your own aura cleanse go find it because that's about 15 minutes where i sit there and teach us how to do it all okay if you want to do your reiki now please know you can go and pay for a course but remember this is innate we all can do it and we all do it differently so just don't rely on the way that your teacher your professor your lecturer or whoever teaches it don't listen to just their way of saying oh this is how you must do it we've got to make it our own okay so i've given you a couple of different ways of doing this all right now if you think there's someone out there who wants this information please share my videos with them okay i had a lovely person tell me some feedbacks last night that i deserve greater views well if that's the way start sharing my videos and saying to your friends hey watch this woman what she's teaching okay because i'm going to start doing more development courses every week i want to start doing at least one development course if you've resonated with today and you've learned something my paypal link is below these courses are expensive and i give it all to you for free so if you do wish to make a wish towards my future i need a new phone and i'm also need new glasses and I'm, i've got a list of things that i need to get replaced okay so 
If you do wish to make a donation today, please click my PayPal link. It's in the description. If you've got other friends and family who you think, wow, they need to hear this stuff, pass them over my, 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 my videos. Share them. Subscribe so I know then that you get your notifications, okay? Because I do these videos not for me. I already know all this stuff. It's for your benefit and the benefit of those that you love because ultimately the more we love, the more we share our goodness with others, the more we live in positive and greater health, okay? I'm not saying we're ever going to be immortal, but we can certainly be angelic while we're in this mortal realm, correct? Hope you all have a good day. Talk to you all soon. Hope you learned something. Bye.